So in your pre-shuffle, I was kind of getting that you're starting to see a pattern of some sort, whether this is in something, someone, a work situation, but I feel like you're starting to figure something or someone out. But I'm just going to start off your reading with an oracle card. There's something to think about, watch out for. Okay, so we do have forgiveness. Also gossip at the bottom of the deck. Makes me feel that there could be some people talking about you. Of course, people are always talking about Gemini, so I'm not surprised. Um, we do have forgiveness. I feel that there um, is something that you need to let go of. And it, it feels, I had another sign get this card as well. Um, I feel like it's something like, you know, maybe you and this person don't talk anymore. Uh, but it's like for you and your own energy, it's like you need to let go of that. You got to forgive them for that so you can move forward yourself and stop thinking about it and have it not take up so much headspace. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. There's different reading options for you to choose from. Also, go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com. A couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug. I think everything on there is super, super cute, so go check it out. Also, don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies. Do go check it out also on Instagram as well. Also, do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there. Just share a little bit more of my personal life. And now, let's get back into the video. Iris, what are the messages for Gemini? Okay. Yeah. The Page of Swords. This is learning something. Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. That's your guys' energy here. I do feel like there's something you could be learning. And you could be learning something about your partner. Um, or possibly this could be wanting to get to know someone more. For those of you that maybe are in a new connection. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Earth sign with the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I also feel that some of you guys are learning something about money. We do have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you could be learning different ways to save money, to use money, invest money, um, things like that, and really to make your money work for you. So yeah, a lot of a lot of wisdom here, a lot of learning. Okay, so yeah, five of wands. This is jealousy. Like I said, I felt like people were talking about you. Um, and I feel like some people are jealous of you right now. And I feel like the reason for that is because you're, you know, you're being an independent queen at this time, the nine of pentacles, or this is the energy that um, you're kind of transforming into. And I do feel like a lot of people are noticing it, even if you're not noticing, you know, it so much yourself. I feel like other people are noticing like, damn, Gemini is really leveling up. Like I, I see Gemini doing that. And of course, you're going to have people that are like, oh, OK, I see you. And then you're going to have haters. So we do have the star card energy here with the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but I do feel like this star card, this is like, I feel like your hopes, your dreams, things that you're wanting to make happen, I feel like you're making happen for yourself. The Queen of Swords, this is your energy. You're very serious right now. Um, like making something work, uh, making money for sure. Yes, the Empress and the Tower. I definitely feel the Empress can represent something like a business, something like an idea. The Tower card. I do feel like, and I almost feel that you are creating this tower. You are wanting to make a major change. And it's like, you're serious. And I don't know why they're telling me you're serious this time. Maybe this is something that you've attempted before. But I feel like this time, it's like, you're serious. You're making this change. You're doing what you need to do. You know, your hopes and your dreams, you're taking them very seriously right now. With This has to do with business, fitness goals. Um, you know, just whatever that has to do with yourself. I feel like right now you're very focused on yourself. Even for those of you that are in a connection or a relationship, you're making yourself your main focus. Why is the Page of Pentacles energy here? This is actually a really good spread besides the drama over here, but it doesn't it doesn't even seem like it's phasing you, honestly. Why is the Page of Pentacles energy here? Okay. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, it's like you're learning to put yourself first. I feel like that's what you're gaining right now or the lesson that you're dealing with. Self-love, um, you know, providing for yourself first, doing what you need to do for yourself before you give to others. We do have the Eight of Pentacles energy here. I see you putting a lot of work into this um, business, into this idea, whatever it is. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. I see abundance coming to you quick and in a hurry. Like... You, like, of course, y'all, as Geminis, I tell you this all the time, you are master manifestors, and I feel like right now you are working your magic, literally. Like, you've got shit coming in. Yep, the star coming out again. Like, you get what you want, man. <laughs> like, right now you are really getting what you want. 
um, the star card, this is healing as well. And I think the reason right now it's really easy for you to make something work right now is because you are healing. And, and I do feel like for a lot of you, that forgiveness card, you already have forgiven, you know, what's going on. You're like, you know, what? I'm just going to work on me. I'm just going to do me. So yeah. And of course people are hating on you right now. you got the star coming out twice. You were, all eyes are on you right now. Literally all eyes are on you. For some of you, you may have new love coming in. The Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Why is the Five of Wands energy here? Okay, the Hierophant. It's like the reason these people are hating or whatever, it's because you're dedicated to what you're doing right now. The Hierophant energy, you are putting in the time, you're putting in the work, you are investing money, you are doing what you need to do, um, you know, to get yourself right. And, you know, whatever that, for some of you, this is fitness. For some of you, this is business, you know, or all of the above. It's like, I feel like you're just like, you know, I'm just going to get it together. Like, I, it feels like a switch just went off. Why is the Nine of Pentacles energy here? Okay. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Some of you guys, again, a lot strong earth energy here towards for the Capricorn. But also, I feel like this is you. I feel like, ooh, okay. So if this is you and your partner here, you guys are on the same page. And I do feel like that could be, of course, going back to this, why people are hating. Some people could be hating on your relationship, um, but y'all are on the same page right now. And that makes sense that we have the Nine of Pentacles here twice. You both are focusing on yourselves, which is making things work. For some of you guys, you could be done with the Taurus, with the Empress card here, but I really see uh, you making this work, regardless of maybe the drama or whatever you guys have dealt with before. Why is the Star card energy here? And the star coming out. Like, you just have matching energies right now. Even this person. Yeah. The six of cups and the king of cups. I feel like right now you're... It's like, I don't feel like you're operating so much. Like, I'm, fe I'm feeling very masculine energy with this reading. Like, I feel like you were just taking action. You were doing what you need to do. You were not dealing with any bullshit. Um, but I do feel at the same time, you and your partner here, the Six of Cups, this is a soulmate connection. This is soulmate energy. For some of you, you're dealing with a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here um, with the King of Cups. But I really feel that things is, are just flowing right now. Like, the King of Cups makes me feel like water. Like, I feel like things are just flowing. You guys are cooperating. The Three of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Swords? It's like, you want to do you and this person supports that because they want to do them themselves. Like, this feels very, very good. The Knight of Pentacles with the Empress. Do know this business that you're building or this business that you want to try. Go ahead and do it. The Fool card is saying, uh, give it a shot. This will provide you with long-term financial stability here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be something that you can rely on. So that idea that you got, business idea, or if this is something that you're doing, uh, continue to be very focused or to put your all into it because it is going to provide you with something stable long term. Why is the Empress card energy here? And you see, I just keep saying you and your partner are on the same page. Like this, em the Empress is coming out twice. Like you got a lot of double cards here. Uh, we do have the Five of Swords here with the Empress. I will say for some of you that are dealing with a Libra in particular, um, Taurus in particular as well, you could be questioning this person's motives. Now, whether this is a friend, um, relationship, whatever, you may be questioning, like, okay, can I trust this person? And I do feel like you've blocked them. You've put a wall up, or this could be the advice uh, for those of you that are questioning a friend. It feels so friendly, actually. If you're questioning a friend's motives, block them. Why is the tower card energy here? Yeah. The three of pentacles with the hermit. It almost feels as well, like this tower for you. This could be, like I said, you're cooperating with someone right now. You guys are working together. I feel like this is a complete 180 for them. Like, it, maybe maybe there was drama in the past. Maybe y'all were not vibing or whatever. It's like, and I feel like the reason for that is they've, in a sense, found themselves. The Hermit card, this is really going within. I feel like they had a spiritual awakening. Like, maybe... Maybe you had it first and you're like, you know what, I want to get my shit together. And then it's like, they had it as well. And now they're like, oh, I see what she was saying. I see what Gemini was talking about. Okay, I'm on board now. Like, it kind of seems like somebody just kind of found that. So, yeah, this is a great reading. Like, I definitely feel for some of you that are in this good relationship or in this good partnership, it could be a business partnership and whatever. I really feel that you guys are on the same page at this time. Now, for those of you that are dealing with 
and because I, I feel like I'm talking to two groups here, but a majority of you have got it together. And for uh, some of you, you're single as well. The Nine of Pentacles this is a very singular energy, but I do feel for those of you dealing with this Earth sign here, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, you guys are very much so working together at this time. Uh, but I do feel a friend, like I said, that friend energy. If you're questioning their motives, just block them because the Five of Swords. This is somebody. It's like using you for their own benefit type of thing. Universe, what is the overall advice for Gemini? Okay. The Seven of Pentacles, be patient um, and watch it grow is what it's saying. Plant your seeds, do what you need to do, and like be patient. Things are going to come to you very quickly, but it's going to have to gain momentum. So I feel like that's a big advice for you. Do not get discouraged if it doesn't, you know, whatever blow up in a day. But I feel like this is still going to blow up very quickly for you, but... You know, just make sure that you're planting those seeds and you're taking your time, paying attention to detail, things like that. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, be sure to check out my links, my blog channel down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.